Hi, I'm Angela Greenick. I am here with my most favorite band in the world. And I'll tell you why. Because these guys are purebreds. They're not show horses. They are true carriers of the glory. Just sitting here, the Holy Spirit keeps dropping on me. And I know it's because of what they carry. And I'm here, you guys just cut a new album, but I want to go around the room and just take a few minutes. So we're at NKC Worship Band, correct? Yeah. Okay. And you're like tag, you're it. So tell me who you are. Okay, my name is Marcus. Yeah. And I'm the leader of the this team, NKC Worship. And um, this is my lovely team leaders also. We are the worship team. So yeah, we're from uh, Gnarp, Sweden. It's, uh, it's the only name I can pronounce. Yeah. Gnarp. <laughs> Gnarp, yeah. yeah. It's a small town in Sweden, middle of Sweden. So, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, worship, it's all about for us uh, to honor God. Yes. Uh, we want to see God's glory. We want yeah. to see His presence. We want to, yeah, honor Him. That's that's what we want to do. Can I? Okay, so you have a full time job. Um, you work, right? Not right now. Okay, what's your name? Tell them who you are. Andreas. But the last time I met you, you said you were working. Yeah. And you said my greatest thing is I'm evangelizing. Yeah. And I've been praying for you because I love that. Like because you are you have your work, but you're also worshiping and you're evangelizing. And it just showed me your integrity and your character. And of course, I pray for all of you guys all the time, but that really moved me. Mm -hmm. Because you don't find that a lot, you know. Well, maybe you think you do here, but yeah. it's not <laughs> everywhere, you know. And so we have... Ellen. Ellen and... Evelina. Okay, so Ellen, I'm going to start with you. And so um, I love when you worship. I love to watch you. You probably think I'm checking out the fashion. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but I love when you worship. There's something about that. Like you usher in like a holy sound when you start to worship. And you you have a family, yes? yes? And children? Yes. And so you're able to worship and do it all, right? Yep. So what is it that moves you to do what you do? I just love Jesus. I love worshiping Him. That's like my main focus in life I sing all the time <laughs> Some, but sometimes my youngest boy he was like when he was I think four or something he was like mom can you stop singing <laughs> I get pain in my ears and I was like no I can't I'm sorry <laughs> exactly because it's who you are it's yeah. in your DNA yeah my son used to say, can you, can you tell the, the prophet and the pastor to get out and, and can my mom come in? <laughs> and I go, honey, you can't separate this stuff. <laughs> but that's what he wanted, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I get that, but it's awesome, right? Yeah. And so we have you. Yeah. She's one of the Larsons. She's part of the family <laughs> tribe here. And so what is it that um, hits your spirit when you worship? Um, it's so different depending on what 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 you're in because mm -hmm. it's so because that's the that's the cool thing about worship and because you just follow the whole you follow the holy spirit yeah and so whatever he wants to do but it's just like being so close with god and getting to cooperate with him getting to work with the holy spirit yes. that's the amazing thing about worship about yeah. leading worship mm -hmm. and i mean also at home you just you partner with god in in, in doing things in the spirit yes. you release things when you when you sing both in the words and yes. that's the amazing thing with like writing uh, your own worship you get yes. to listen in what does the, what does god want to say and then we can proclaim it through through the songs but yeah. also with the sound yeah, and that's yeah. something that i have experienced that you can you can release different things and you can reach different levels and and in the spirit realm in different mm -hmm. uh, like different notes yeah, really yeah. different sounds because it comes so, from heaven yeah mm -hmm. yeah see everywhere i travel i tell people can you maybe get a sound from heaven mm -hmm. and bring it down mm -hmm. because it's the same music all the time mm -hmm. and my friends are like and it's kind of rude i'm like no it's not because you're so creative mm -hmm. and you can do this like you can touch that sound of heaven and bring something down that no one else has mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and so do you write yeah i know that and so what is that like writing for you um well i could say about some of the songs yes, that yes. i've written um uh, lately it's part of them or on the cd the arise cd and it's in english which i'm really excited about you'll get from the website within two days <laughs> yeah um that song i wrote together with um uh another guy mm -hmm. who is playing the keys yes and uh that song is is one way of writing because we 
co-write it together. Yes. I got like part of it and he put it together. Um, but then some other songs like No One Is Like You, God, and uh, Take Control. Oh yeah. Those songs kind of downloaded to me, was mm -hmm. downloaded because um, sometimes I, I, I just sit and I play and, and um, the presence of God just mm -hmm. comes and then I can just feel the words coming out and uh, like take control was was um, in in a in a place where we really wanted the Holy Spirit to, yes. to just be more in control of the worship. Yeah. So it was kind of born from that heart, and um, and we uh, we we know that, like Evelina said, that mm -hmm. we need the Holy Spirit to oh, to guide everything we do, and you can really feel when He is taking over when you play mm -hmm. and when you sing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I <laughs> I would prefer just to, you know, get the songs downloaded and, and uh and then you feel it's 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 not my song but it's a song from heaven to people. Yeah. So I, mm -hmm. I would just be a tool and a vessel to you know So really you're prophesying. Yeah. So you are like the psalmist. You guys are psalmist, right? Mm -hmm. So you're prophetically releasing the worship, the sound of heaven and you're bringing it to earth. Mm -hmm. And it, I believe it comes, everything comes out of that intimacy, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Do you also write? Yeah. Yeah, I, I know that. So yeah. <laughs> um, both of your wives are heavy hitters in the spirit when they sing. Mm -hmm. I want to drop to my knees. I am like, I have never been in a place where there is so many um, artistic worshipers. And can I say this? I... I don't see like the competitiveness. Like, that's why I say like, they're so pure. And, um, but I think sometimes you have to fight to keep the purity and keep the combating down. Because let's get real now. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Do you guys have to deal like, this is what I think. Ever since the last few years, God is really elevating you and he is really exposing you more. Mm -hmm. And in that exposure, are you feeling like more of the jealousy from people or just kind of like, you know, from other people? Because people will get jealous of something they don't have. Mm -hmm. And they can have it, you yeah. know. You don't have to have the perfect sound, right? Yeah. And so, are you experiencing that, or? Yeah, of course we do. Uh, we're all humans. Of and course. Everybody, so. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My God. So, but we we was we used to talk about it in our own uh, meetings mm -hmm. and we, when we practice and when we when we're praying. So. We're watching. We're we're watching each other, and we want to mm -hmm. see. Just just put it up to the surface, so we can, yeah. you yeah. know, okay. How does this feel? They say they are saying this about us. They are saying that about yeah. us. So, I think it can be uh, jealousy in yes. cover. Yes. Sometimes yes, you, yes. you don't see it as jealousy, but it's kind of in behind the curtain because of the envy. Because envy mm -hmm. and jealousy, mm -hmm. they're off that same tree, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and that envy because. Like, I really can't sing, but I just wrote a song. They're putting it up on my website. Mm -hmm. But the angels came down. I was so scared. Mm -hmm. And I just, because I sing all the time, and the angels came down. And it sounds so good. I go, who is that? Larry goes, oh, my God, who is that? I go, I don't know. And I'm like, don't lie. I'm like, it's me. It's me. I goes, turn it off, turn it off. And he goes, no, listen. And as I listened, I started mm -hmm. crying. Mm. Because I just, I just mm. want to love God, you know. Mm. And that's our that's our focus. We just want to, if we're just by ourselves in the mm. church mm. and we're practicing, we do the same on the big meetings yes. when we're mm. when we were at the Globe in yeah. Stockholm. Yeah, it's the same thing for us. Yeah. We're doing just the same. Yeah. If we're alone or if we we are in front of mm. a thousand new people, and, and it's, it's been a process. <laughs> I mean, from the very it's beginning, such a process. when God put us all together, it's been really a process that we have gone through yeah, together and of course and it's been really like this yes, of roller course. coaster absolutely and I knew that the last year and a half or so I've been praying God said you yeah. need to pray and cover these kids yeah. I always call you kids yeah. and he says you have to guard protect mm. them one thing with everything because mm. they don't know the cost of the oil mm. that you carry yeah. and the light that it brings forth and the healing mm. I like literally need to pray for people because they're getting healed in the worship. Mm -hmm. Like tonight, we're going to do mostly worship and we'll also do a testimony. They're like, are you going to preach? I'm like, uh, no, I'm going to do worship. I'm not stupid. I'm going to get as much in as I can because I so understand the importance of the worship. And so are, do you write music? I know that too. 
And so what motivates you to write? Um, I just, I, you know, it just I w sometimes I want to tell a story about what God does. Yes. And uh, Esther's song, the one Andrea sings, I wrote that one. Uh, and, and, and in that case, I just put myself in Esther's position just before she went to the king. And she knew that she could be killed. But I, I wanted to like grasp her worship to God mm -hmm. just before that moment. So that song is that moment for me. And then I made it to my own because when I end up in situations like that, yes. I want to focus on him and he will take me through. Mm -hmm. That is amazing because that when you said the Esther song, the Holy Spirit's all <laughs> over me right now um, because this, it's so pure. Mm -hmm. And I love that you said that you put yourself in it. Mm -hmm. Because it's easier to do that, don't you think, when yeah. you're writing? You write, I'm mm -hmm. sure, also. Well, you're, I she's will. a fiery little preacher, <laughs> I can tell you that. She preached today. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, it's really interesting. But So I want to shift this for a second, because what would you tell like young people that are preparing to go into worship and become worship leaders? Like, How would you tell them to guard the friendship? Because I'm going to tell you the one thing I've learned in 35 years in ministry. A true friend is, they're hard to find, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. One day they're there, then you might not see them for mm -hmm. five years, but you can step right back in that time and moment, and they're that true friend still, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. But a lot of times through the years, we end up losing so many friends, mm -hmm. and really family even as well, you know? And so is there something that you're learning and growing in that can help other people? Because you said you're, you've been in a process of up and down. So we'll start with you. So what do you think about that? Like, what would you tell the young people or any age people? Yeah. What would you tell them? I mean, we're all leaders. And of course, we have the character of leaders. And yes. And I, I believe that for like four leaders and even more leaders in the future to, to be a part in a team, yes. it's so important to to uh, see, I mean, to see each other. Yeah. And if you have something, to bring it up to the surface, yeah. like Marcus said. So we need to always be honest with each other. Mm -hmm. So if I feel something, um, and I know the devil will always try to put thoughts in your mind. Absolutely. That, oh, he doesn't like you, or you know, there's something there. But if you're honest with each other and you bring mm -hmm. it up to the surface, God yeah. can always work through that yeah. and, and work. And I believe that he is melting our hearts together. Yeah. So there will be, uh, I mean, we hold each other backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that is the most important thing, I, I believe, in the worship band. Yes. That you keep each other's back. Because that is good. Because we're warriors in a fight and yes. we need to stay together. Mm. Yeah. And the devil wants to divide. He wants to, yeah. you know, <laughs> get exactly. us to be divided. Absolutely. And then start to, to focus on each other instead of focus on, on the on, task. On the task at yeah. hand. How about you? What do you think? Well, for me, uh, I would like to say, like, for friendships, because as you said, there's such an attack on relationships. Oh, yeah. So to always to be to be careful with whom you trust your yeah. heart. Mm -hmm. And as you were preaching, like you need to surround yourself with the right kind of people, the people that you want to go like that that to wants go further, to go where yeah. you want to go. Yeah. To, but also in that process for me, I think I've been so afraid that mm. I've closed my heart. Wow. But to together with that, there needs to be balance in everything. Yeah. yeah. But together with that, like going after it and having mm -hmm. but to I mean to open up when you find that person well you you have you have prayed about it and you know I can I can trust this person yeah. that you don't keep them on that test yeah too long yeah that you open up and you let them into your life absolutely and that's what like tying together to what you said like we need to be open with each other and and confront things that like God exposed lies of the enemy absolutely but it's so important that you have an open heart when you do have that mm -hmm. friend that you can trust when you do absolutely. have those relationships absolutely that's good what about you oh, love <laughs> Yeah. Because in, in everybody knows your love, Esther. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> it's good, in huh? in a team, yes. things come up in friendship. Things comes yeah. up, but if you know that your friend love you, then you can handle the things she or he says to you. Yeah. Yeah. So so because if someone wants to correct you and you know yes. that person loves you, yes. take the correction and, and be sure of the love. 
So mm -hmm. I think that is very important. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's tough love. <clears throat> yeah. Because yeah. people are shocked. I have board and leaders. I have heads over me. Mm -hmm. They're like, you do? I'm like, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I mean, my God, everywhere I go, my covering, I mm -hmm. call them. We pray. Yeah. Right before I leave, I'm on the plane. I text them when I get here. I text mm -hmm. them when I go home. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. it's that family. And mm -hmm. you have to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's where it's all about. Yeah. And so, go ahead for yeah, you. Yeah, I think one of the keys is to have, you, you need to have the right focus and purpose yeah. with what you do. Yes. If my purpose with my playing and my singing mm -hmm. is to honor God, yes. mm -hmm. then I don't have a problem if mm -mm. these guys or anyone else Mm -hmm. that honor God have yeah. more space yes. uh, on the stage or have more camera time or yeah, anything. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter because yes. my goal is that the God will be honored. So, Can I tell you why one yeah. of you last was for this reason? Because mm -hmm. I was going to tell you, Marcus, I love this about you because you, I know you're the leader. But I would never know that you weren't the leader. I mean, because one day you're a leader, then I thought you're the leader, and then you're the leader. And that, to me, shows the true character of a man or a woman of God that gets out of the way and gives someone else an opportunity to step in and to be able to grow. And I learned that years ago when, because some you, you can see it like as preachers or whatever, you know, uh, worshipers, where people have that stronghold and they don't give other people an opportunity. And I know that you're going to start having a school to start training, correct, um, yeah. worshipers. Yeah. Is that soon? Yeah. I've been praying about it. So the Lord yeah, said it's, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt that. Uh, uh, <laughs> we'll be sending people here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because it's really important. Because the one thing I've been praying about is I've, been, I've had this word. I've been waiting to release it. And actually, I'm going to release a little tonight. But it's about a new ERA. Mm -hmm. But it has to do with a new era. Mm -hmm. And God said they're evangelists and they're a radical army, but they are, they're minstrels on the street. That's the word. Mm -hmm. And they're out there worshiping. And when you hit the minstrel on the street, mm -hmm. the one commonality we have in any occult of any type or any religion or ministry is that worship draws people. Mm -hmm. yeah. The worship of yeah. God mm -hmm. yeah. draws yeah. people mm -hmm. to him. And uh, we had a great night last night and the word had to do with going into Stockholm and you guys are going to be worshiping and I just got so excited because I only had pieces of the king. And we, I'd be out there singing, Kumbaya, <laughs> with no voice. Uh, <laughs> not really. That's what that's there for. And, um, but I want to thank you um, that you just don't know that there are times when I travel. And, you know, I'm in all these different venues and meetings and I'm tired or exhausted. And I can go turn on our television media channel and I just go on to engage and there you guys are and all of a sudden I get that bop going and I just know in my spirit I feel like I'm almost taken back in time and I'm back in Sweden with the family and it's really an amazing feeling mm -hmm. when you can turn on that and have someone mm -hmm. do that in your life you know because people go oh don't you listen to that or this and I hear there's all this new music out I'm still like 15 20 years behind because I've been waiting for a new sound yeah. And now we have it. It's called Arise. It's just going to flip and rock your world. And so we'll have some of their music on. But they can go to the website yeah. and get this. Is that right? NKCWorship.com. Yes. Or even yes. I iTunes. And on iTunes. Yeah. Oh, right on. So. That not that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> When I first went on Amazon the first time, I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared. I was like, oh, my God. And so we go on there, and it says, Angela Greenick, exorcist. <laughs> I was like, really? And then I went to Apple iTunes, and they said she's a um, deliverance minister, but I was scared to death. Yeah. Were you scared? Excited? Like giving a baby or something, yeah? Yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> do you feel that when you do this, like when you write a song, it's... Like having seen your son or daughter, seen a child. Yeah, of course, it's always like that. I mean, you release it, and, yeah. and but we see the people as you know priests. Yeah. So we want to build a pat platform for God, mm -hmm. so He can meet His people, and that's all our hearts. Like mm -hmm. we we want the people to meet God yeah. and not see us. So exactly. So we just want to. Uh, release that sound that that create this Absolutely. atmosphere and and the place where God really can touch people. Yeah, and uh, we want to be 
part of that where, where people just rise up yeah. in worship together yeah. mm -hmm. and not just have the platform and then the people, you know, but exactly. we all together. Yeah. And we know also it's a unified unifying factor. Absolutely. And that's also what we are talking a lot about today, that God wants to unite his people. Yes. He wants to bring a, a unifying Re, um, revival. Absolutely. So, mm -hmm. so we believe that the worship is part of that. That Absolutely. where God can unify His people. It doesn't matter what we think of each other. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what uh, different opinions we have, or you know. Yeah. But and in the worship, we get. And as you said, worship and the presence of God draws people. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was thinking while you're talking, I'm like, we, we gotta get something up on. We can do some live TV because people from all over the world will watch it. And get you guys up if you want to do something. I would like. I would be honored to have you on, and you could just do some teaching and, and worship yeah. and and have that TV time where you can really sit down and talk. Because I'm telling you, the one thing I'm watching in America and in different places is there's some people are running after tangents. You know, they're just running, running, and they so desperately want to be used. And I'm gonna tell you, your greatest worship is when you're doing the will of God, but when you're in the presence with Him. And I, I can sing, but I usually sing off key because um, I just don't care. I just sing all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but wherever you're at, if you have a song in your heart, mm -hmm. um, I learned uh, verses I couldn't read and I couldn't memorize, and I would cry. It would take 40 hours mm -hmm. to memorize one verse. And I heard, um, do you remember all the songs you knew when you were little? I thought, well, yeah. So I started making up I have my own songs. That's how I learned my first uh, mm -hmm. two scriptures. And I mm -hmm. crocheted them and sang so I could remember now I can remember scripture like bam like baby it's like it's on <laughs> but because I do sometimes still the song to remember isn't that amazing how a song yeah. Yeah. can affect a child or an adult and so you're going to be seeing a lot more of them and I, like I said they're a rise worship because we can send them to you but we can put a couple of these up yeah. on yeah mm -hmm. and um, you're going to be just so blessed and they had a lot of worship through these last few days we'll be able to get some of that up too I'm sure and you'll be seeing a lot more of them. And I really know that there is going to be a school because God told me that. And he also told me, he said, I'm going to send people from all over the world that are going to learn how to really worship me in spirit and truth. And then I'm going to take them out into the cities and the villages mm -hmm. and start sending them out. And I saw like an epicenter and colors going. Choo, choo, mm -hmm. choo. They were shooting everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so it's very sad, but they have to really go to work because we have to start in a few minutes. And they're the worship band, and then I'm really going to get in trouble. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, we just bless you. Yeah. Um, and we just thank you again for just taking this time with us. And um, Marcus, I'll have you close us out real quick because you are the head, and I want to honor that. Oh, I honor all of you, so don't mm -hmm. go there. But go ahead, please. Take a minute and just pray us out, please. Thank you. Father, we just honor you. I just pray that your presence in this moment just go out yes, through this camera. Yes. Father, I pray that your spirit, Holy Spirit, come and touch the heart. Yes. Come and touch the heart of those who are watching right now, Father. Yes, Lord. Come and touch their heart, Father. Yes. Holy Spirit, I ask you to just bless them, to honor just lead them to honor your name, lead their hearts, Father. Yeah. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. All right, real quick, 30 seconds ago, you're it. I'm telling you, you're it. Yes, minutes, Father, I just, plead, <laughs> I just pray for clean hearts, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We believe that you want to rise up a generation with clean hearts, Lord, mm -hmm. that can um, worship you in spirit and in truth. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I just declare that today, Lord. Yep. Just rise up that generation, Lord, yes, with Lord. true worshipers, with true worshipers, with clean hearts, Lord, that can run for your name, Lord, and that can also rise up together, Lord, and stand back to back with each other. No matter what the differences are, Lord, I just pray for a generation, Lord, that have the focus on people and with your love, Lord, that just explode into the, this world, Lord. And I just pray for worship, Lord, heavenly sound that poured out on, um, place after place after place, Lord. Yes, Girls, go, we just break every chain that's been holding people back from releasing their voice, from releasing their sound in the name of Jesus. We just release you to release the sound of heaven that is within your spirit in the name of Jesus. Be free, be free to worship, be free to release into the earth all of heaven. Sing me a song, sing me a little of the Esther song as you pray us out.
Father, listen from heaven above because you are that special in his eyes. So I love you guys, but we have to go to work and they have to go to work first, then I have to go to work. Um, but you're going to be hearing a lot more and seeing a lot more of them. And I just encourage you to get in that quiet place because it's in the quiet place where God can move and be able to, to speak to you. And uh, we just bless you. Have an amazing week ahead, and I'll be seeing you soon.